SpaceX's Starbase in Boca Chica is once again stealing the spotlight and for good reason. The Super Heavy Booster 9 is not just prepping for a test, it's unveiling a series of game-changing tweaks to its flight termination system. And with its third charge showing off enhanced performance, the stakes have never been higher. But hold on, the intrigue doesn't end there. The launch pad is undergoing a transformation from the strategic positioning of the methane fill pipe to a brand new power system coming online. Satellite installations? They're ramping up. Key components? They're shaping up right at the heart of the action. So, what's the buzz around Booster 9's latest moves at SpaceX's Starbase, and how does it shift the trajectory of our spacefaring future? Dive into this video and let's unravel the saga together. At SpaceX's Starbase launch site, all eyes are on Booster 9. It's not just undergoing a routine test, it's showcasing the future of space safety with its upgraded flight termination system, or as insiders have dubbed it, the rapid on-demand disassembly. So what's the big deal with this system? Picture this, a rocket's in flight, something goes wrong, and there's a need for an immediate shutdown. That's where the FTS jumps in. During the test, it revealed an added third charge, strategically embedded at the vehicle's common dome. This isn't just for show. In a crisis, this system can trigger a controlled explosion. The aim? Neutralize the rocket, ensuring it poses no threat to nearby areas. And from the recent test results, it's clear. The system is on point, activating seamlessly when called upon. But the intrigue doesn't stop there. Over at the rocket garden, a spectacle unfolded. Spectators watched the dance of the propellant loading process. Liquid oxygen, the rocket's breath, filled up half the tanks. Another substance, speculated to be methane, took up two-thirds. But here's a twist. Some experts observing the frost patterns are hinting it might be liquid nitrogen, a cooler alternative, instead of methane. The debate is heating up, and the exact propellant remains a mystery. Now, testing a rocket isn't a walk in the park. There were pauses, moments of anticipation, and the occasional delay. But each step, each hold, tells a story of SpaceX's relentless pursuit of perfection. Amidst the action, a dedicated team was spotted, zeroing in on Booster 9's left leg. The propellant lines housed within are not merely structural components, they are the lifeline that feeds the tanks. As these tanks filled with propellant, a distinct hiss echoed, signifying venting. This venting, a result of condensation, releases excess gas to maintain equilibrium. Transitioning from this, SpaceX's Booster 9 is more than just another addition to the rocket lineup. It epitomizes cutting-edge engineering and relentless innovation. Its distinction lies not only in its towering presence, but also in the plethora of technical advancements it introduces. Starting with the propulsion system, the Booster 9 has transitioned from the traditional hydraulic power units to the more advanced electric thrust vector control systems. This isn't just a minor upgrade. It's a paradigm shift in how rockets are powered and controlled. It signifies SpaceX's commitment to adopting newer technologies, ensuring their rockets are not just powerful, but also more efficient and reliable. Now let's talk design. The booster features full-size chines and a uniform Starlink antenna arrangement. For those not in the loop, chines are aerodynamic structures that can influence how the rocket maneuvers during its flight. The uniformity in the Starlink antenna arrangement suggests a more streamlined approach to communication and data transfer during the rocket's journey. However, a keen observer might notice varying thermal protections across different chines. What's notably absent, though, is a liquid-cooled plate on the orbital launch mount. This omission raises questions about the cooling mechanisms SpaceX has in place for this behemoth. During the recent tests, the focus wasn't solely on the booster's performance. The orbital launch mount, the very platform from which the rocket takes off, was under intense scrutiny. Engineers were keen to evaluate its resilience, especially when burdened with the weight of a fully loaded booster. And let's not forget, we're talking about future versions that could tip the scales at a staggering 6,000 tons. Ensuring the launch pad's stability under such weight isn't just a technical challenge, it's an absolute necessity. The positive feedback from this test phase is a clear indicator. The Starbase launch site is prepping for some heavy lifting. One can't help but notice the absence of a nose cone on the Booster 9. It's an unconventional choice, but it's not without precedent. Remember the SN5 and SN6 tests? They too took to the skies without a nose cone, relying on modified flight dynamics to compensate. The primary objective here is clear. Test the booster's flight capabilities to the max, even if it means deviating from conventional design norms. SpaceX enthusiasts are buzzing with anticipation for the full propellant load test. Current reports suggest the liquid methane tank is nearing its capacity, with the liquid oxygen tank not far behind. As these tanks brim with propellant, the vents atop the methane tank are hard at work, releasing any excess gas to make room for the incoming liquid. This wet dress rehearsal isn't just a routine procedure, 
it's a critical step in assessing the pad's readiness for actual launches. Down below, the thrust sections are taking shape. While one is nearing completion, its counterpart is still in the infancy of its construction, notably missing its methane piping. But what's truly catching the eye of many is the duo of booster top domes. With one being a fresh addition, it's evident that innovation is ceaseless and the horizon of possibilities is ever-expanding. Amidst the bustling tents, filled to the brim with components, whispers suggest a hot staging section might be nestled within. Outside, a lone dome stands, having weathered time and elements, becoming a beacon of curiosity. The overflowing tents hint at the need for more space, underscoring the ever-evolving nature of this ambitious endeavor. Now, let's talk tech. The clamps mechanism has undergone a revamp, now designed to exert force on the three C-level Raptors. This ingenious design, with its trio of pistons, not only pushes the Raptors, but also introduces gimbal force to the mounts. The result? Enhanced efficiency during those breathtaking launches. But the real talk of the town is the innovative hot staging technique. The goal? To ignite the second stage engines while the first is still roaring, ensuring a seamless transition and combating gravity's pull. This method promises to boost the efficiency, especially for the hefty Starship, ensuring it gracefully detaches from the booster even as the latter's engines hum with power. Peeking into the Starbase's inventory, Starships with serial numbers 25 and 30 are being meticulously pieced together in the high bay. Meanwhile, Starship 26 is getting its engines, and Starship 28 awaits its turn at a neighboring facility. Interestingly, Starship 27 seems to be in reverse gear, being disassembled, perhaps a testament to the team's commitment to perfection. However, space exploration is no walk in the park. The team faced a hiccup with Starship 24.2 when an attempt to weld a ring section didn't go as planned, sending the spacecraft back to mid-bay. But if there's one thing we know, it's that this team, with its unwavering spirit, will soar past this challenge, reaching for Mars. Undeterred by such setbacks, SpaceX, in a bold move signaling their relentless pursuit of space exploration, has unveiled a new addition right next to their renowned Star Factory. Aptly named Star Factory 2, the exact purpose of this new facility remains shrouded in mystery. Yet, it's clear that SpaceX is ramping up its rocket manufacturing prowess. Supporting this expansion, SpaceX has procured several dual-part pressurization units essential for the safe transportation of their colossal boosters and starships. These units emphasize SpaceX's unwavering commitment to safety and precision in every facet of their operations. The construction at Star Factory 2 is progressing at a remarkable pace. A significant portion of the roof is already in place, with only a section on the left awaiting completion. This rapid development hints at SpaceX's eagerness to get the site mission ready. The meticulousness of SpaceX's engineering team is evident in the site's footings. The final footing on the top left is prepped for concrete pouring, with vertical lines on the form acting as vital braces, ensuring the site's robustness. Interestingly, while the Star Factory's leftward expansion is still a work in progress, with the final beam yet to be placed, the rightward expansion is nearing its final stages. The roof extends almost to the current end, with space reserved for additional columns, indicating the expansion's advanced stage. A notable development is the press pit's full coverage, allowing machinery to smoothly roll in, enhancing the construction process's efficiency. Additionally, the meticulous placement of rebar flush with the floor and preparations for the joiner slab pouring showcase SpaceX's attention to detail, ensuring the facility's longevity. Lastly, the anticipated equipment placement within the press pit is intriguing. It's speculated that machinery will be positioned on four massive piers surrounding the pit. To optimize operations, manufacturers might employ vibration isolation systems, ranging from airbags and rubber mats to advanced hydraulics, underscoring SpaceX's dedication to operational excellence. There are also some major updates at the launch site. At the Starbase launch site in Texas, SpaceX is making impressive strides in preparing for their upcoming launch. One significant update involves the introduction of the PEZ loader, a groundbreaking satellite installation method that is streamlining spacecraft preparations for liftoff. Satellites are now being expertly slid into the PEZ loader, functioning much like a PEZ dispenser, but in reverse. This innovative process allows for a pair of satellites to be smoothly transferred into the payload bay simultaneously, enhancing efficiency and reducing loading time. The PEZ loader's implementation marks a notable improvement in satellite installation, making it easier and faster to load the payload bay for upcoming launches. This efficient method ensures a seamless integration of satellites into the spacecraft, a critical aspect of space missions. As SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of space exploration, 
Such advancements in technology play a pivotal role in optimizing launch operations. SpaceX has been diligently working on upgrades to the engine shielding for Ship 25, demonstrating their commitment to safety and spacecraft enhancement. Recent observations near the Raptor truck by Test Stand A and another area near Test Stand B revealed engine shields undergoing welding, confirming the ongoing progress of the shielding upgrade. Engine shielding plays a crucial role in protecting the spacecraft's propulsion systems during the intense forces experienced during launch and re-entry. By reinforcing and improving the shielding, SpaceX aims to ensure the utmost reliability and safety of their spacecraft during critical phases of space missions. Meanwhile, significant developments are taking place at the construction site, emphasizing SpaceX's approach to rocket manufacturing and launch preparations. Notable changes have been observed in the area near Pad A, where the construction of substantial structures is underway. Piers are being poured, and rebar is being set up for the next set of tanks, signifying progress in the construction process. Additionally, construction of retention ponds is in full swing, with a new water retention pond featuring a sloped wall and concrete steps nearing completion. These ponds are essential for managing water and ensuring safe and efficient operations at the launch site. Additionally, construction of retention ponds is in full swing, with a new water retention pond featuring a sloped wall and concrete steps nearing completion. These ponds are essential for managing water and ensuring safe and efficient operations at the launch site. Recent updates have showcased the progress in constructing a new slab area, where sections of the site have been skillfully poured with concrete. The formwork has been set up for further concrete pouring, indicative of the site's steady advancement. The phased approach to construction at the launch site highlights the meticulous planning and attention to detail exhibited by SpaceX. The recent pouring of concrete is a critical step in the construction process. Following this, the formation of the Fond DAG, designed to tie into the Fun Deck, marks a significant milestone in the construction of the launch site. Moreover, SpaceX's focus on reinforcing structural elements is evident in the use of rebar bundles. These bundles serve as essential reinforcements, highlighting SpaceX's commitment to constructing robust and reliable infrastructure. As construction progresses, continuous pouring of concrete and the delivery of additional truckloads further enhance the pace of development. The phased construction around the orbital launch mount demonstrates careful planning. Initial concrete pouring was strategically selected to accommodate the self-propelled modular transporter required to transport Booster 9 for lifting. This decision ensured a clear route for the SPMT, avoiding any interference with open rebar during transportation. Advancements in the deluge system are also evident, with the addition of a round-top silver liquid nitrogen storage tank equipped with a metal trim dome. This tank's role is to protect the insulation, while an accompanying vaporizer converts liquid nitrogen into gaseous form to support filling high-pressure gas tanks. These tanks play a crucial role in the water deluge process for launch site operations, ensuring safety during ignition and liftoff. Furthermore, construction of new piers between the silver nitrogen tank and the high-pressure gas tanks is underway. Although the exact purpose of a triple pipe assembly in the Sanchez area remains unclear, it signifies ongoing progress and infrastructure set up for future launches. The concrete thickness and attention to detail in construction highlight the site's preparation for the upcoming space missions. Transportation of Booster 9 to the launch site faced discussions when the self-propelled modular transporter was slightly over the rebar. However, the issue has been promptly addressed with the use of crane matting and proper rebar placement, ensuring the safe and secure transportation and placement of the booster. Progress at the launch pad itself includes the successful pouring of concrete for the fond dag sections, with four out of six sections already completed. This progress ensures the launch pad's stability and readiness for the highly anticipated upcoming launch. Additionally, attention has been given to the liquid methane fill pipe, a crucial component for the fueling process. Positioned behind a concrete wall, the methane fill pipe allows for tanker trucks to connect their hoses securely, facilitating a smooth and efficient fueling process for the rockets. Safety remains a paramount concern in SpaceX's preparations for the upcoming launch at the Starbase launch site in Texas. The use of the deluge system has been highlighted as a crucial safety measure during launch operations. This innovative system plays a vital role in protecting the legs of the launch table during ignition and liftoff. The deluge system, true to its name, sprays water at an angle from six sides, providing comprehensive water coverage around the launch table. This helps in preventing potential hazards and ensures the safety of both the spacecraft and the launch pad during critical phases of the launch. Engineers at SpaceX have been diligently testing the deluge system to ensure its effectiveness. The system has been put through rigorous testing, 
demonstrating its ability to handle the demands of launch operations. It is expected to be fully operational during the upcoming launch, providing an added layer of safety and confidence. A significant improvement to the system involves the use of a shiny crowd tank and vaporizer to charge the cylinders for the high-pressure gas system. This enhancement allows for quicker recharging, improving the overall efficiency of the system. During previous tests, the deluge system was connected to two large tanks, but engineers have worked to double the number of high-pressure tanks, ensuring a larger supply of high-pressure gas to support multiple deluge runs. One intriguing addition to the deluge system is the presence of a new vertical tank located between the long and short tanks. While its exact purpose remains undisclosed, it is likely that this tank serves as a storage unit, contributing to the self-contained nature of the system. Engineers have also been meticulously working on welding a seal onto a lower pipe, which is expected to be a critical component of the third water tank's inlet system. SpaceX's dedication to streamlining processes is evident in the design improvements of the high-pressure system. The implementation of the vaporizer has made the high-pressure system more self-sufficient, eliminating the need for additional pumps to reach the required pressure levels. This ensures a smoother and more efficient operation during the launch. Another noteworthy update is the successful implementation of the new power system at the launch site. The transition to using municipal power has enabled all pumps to function seamlessly without relying on generators. This transition is a significant step forward in optimizing operations and ensuring a more sustainable and environmentally friendly launch process. As the Starbase launch site gears up for the highly anticipated launch, SpaceX's engineers and technicians are leaving no stone unturned. They are working tirelessly to address any remaining challenges and fine-tune every aspect of the launch sequence to ensure a successful and safe mission.